Hey guys, so I want to talk to you guys about, I just want to give you some like life updates kind of about my life and things that are, are going to happen in the future and things that have been happening and how I feel about them and just, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I got a new job in October. I don't think I've mentioned it in any of my videos recently. So that's why I wanted to make this video also. And I'm sorry if I look really whited out right now. I'm not really, I'm only wearing like foundation and like highlighter and a lip product. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I got a new job in October, early October. And yeah, um, I'm working at a childcare center. And so far it's been good. Um, I think, honestly, I would say, like, my only con or iffy thing about it, I would say, is that the directors seem more interested in making money, which I get it. It's a business. But I just, I don't know, I don't feel as supported by them as I should, I feel like. I mean, I, I feel pretty supported by my teachers when I'm in the room with the teachers, the other teachers I mean but um I don't know I'm and and I've been having an issue with like you know ever since Sarah care ended because I lost my job in June at Sarah care because the program uh, was closed down just the one that I was working at um ever since then I feel like I've been like looking for a job where I feel like part of the, of the team and part of a family because that's how I, that's how I felt you know, with Sarah Care, I felt a part of a team, a part of family, and I still don't really feel that way with this job, but I know that I've only been at this job for like a month and a half, maybe? Not even two months? I think two months, I think it'll be two months next week, though, actually. Um, so, I mean, maybe I should just say two weeks, I mean, two weeks, two months. And so, I know that I should give it more time, obviously, and I just got this job, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm having those you know, I'm trying not to like get down on the job because I've ha I've only been here for two months. But at the same time, it's it's hard to be fully committed to a job that I don't feel a part of the team yet. And I mean, honestly, like there are people that they've been hiring. They've been hiring a lot of pe a pretty good amount of people really within the past few weeks. And I feel like they are kind of meshing in better than I am and they're newer than I am so it's kind of weird but at the same time I mean it's probably I mean I, I'm not saying that it's like their fault that I don't feel like a part of the team it's definitely partially my fault because I don't know I'm I I, I feel like I've lost some of my social mojo within the last like six months I would say I think it's because of Sarah care to be honest I, th I think honestly that was like a big blow to my like my life and just like it was just a big blow and I think at the time it really affected me at the time but I feel like it it's still affecting me and it sucks because I miss Sarah care and I miss my residence and Danbury was great I worked at Danbury for like two months after um after we closed and um I liked it but it definitely wasn't the same and I, I mean I'm not really trying to replicate that feeling but I'm just I just want to feel like part of the team. And and another great thing about it is they're doing secret, not secret Santa, they're doing like a, a gift exchange at my job and I was asked if I wanted to participate and I didn't really give a yes or no answer because, because it's three gifts. Like there's two $10 gifts and one $25 final gift. And I'm like, really people? You don't have a problem with that? And... I don't know, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, really? But surprisingly, like, a lot of my coworkers have been talking about it and how, like, you know, like, they're having difficulties buying presents or they've been buying presents or whatever. And, um, but none of them have said anything about, oh, that is really expensive. Like, I didn't do it. Like, I feel like I'm going to be the only person who is employed by these, by this, you know, company and at, you know, at this center that isn't involved in this. And I feel like I'm gonna feel left out and I'm just like on the fence. I mean, it's like, it's basically $45. I'm 
I would have to spend on basically probably most likely a complete stranger that I've either met like a couple times and worked with maybe one day or something or whatever you know what I mean like I don't know like the next couple months is that I'm graduating with my associate degree in education in January which I'm exceedingly happy about because oh my god I'm so ready for school to be over but yeah so I'm, I'm excited about that and I only have like I think counting this week that we're in which it's it's not January. It's November 27th, I believe. Yeah, November 27th, because in two days is my dad's birthday. Love you. He doesn't, I don't think he watches my videos, but yeah, oh yeah, but yeah. If you are counting today, I have less than two weeks of class left this week, next week, and then finals week, which is awesome. But yeah, so I'm graduating in January, and I'm very excited, so that's one good thing to, to um, look forward to in the future which I'm very very happy about but yeah so I you know it's it's just one of those things but they are having a Christmas they're having a Christmas party like a work Christmas party on the 15th of December so I'm probably gonna go to that because why not and it's a work Christmas party and it should be really fun so yeah um but yeah so I don't know. do I mean do you guys have opinions on like gift exchanges at your workplaces like do you do, do you partake in them do you think they're ridiculous would you also feel like left out if you weren't participating? Should I participate even though I haven't signed up for it and it might be too late? Which I'm not sure about that yet. I texted one of my bosses about it earlier and I don't know if she's responded. I haven't checked, so. But yeah, so that's basically my life in a nutshell. School, work, trying to get back my social mojo and just you know, looking forward to graduating and looking forward to Christmas. And I'm probably not going to do Vlogmas because of school and work, of course. Um, but I'm going to try to do, like, I, I'm going to try to do basically what I wanted to do for Halloween, which is two, like, I wanted to do two Halloween videos each week of October. So I'm probably going to try to do two Christmas videos or related Christmas video or two Christmas related videos a week in December. So let me know if you guys have any, have any video suggestions of like any ideas you want me to do so yeah i hope to see you guys in my next video and hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys are doing well i hope you are thriving and excited for christmas it's definitely i feel like for me and i feel like this has been brought to my attention recently that like Christmas is supposed to be like the most wonderful time of the year for so many people and I do love Christmas and it's one of my favorite holidays by far but I mean you know I I think you know sometimes we forget that there are people out there who you know maybe Christmas is a hard time for them with maybe depression anxiety you know they might have suicidal thoughts um, maybe they lost a loved one um, I mean I lost my aunt two years ago so I definitely would say the Christmas time isn't like it's just not as special and I don't have as many family members to spend with during the Christmas holidays as I used to. You know, Christmas is used to be like so many people at my grandma's house or my aunt's house. And we, you know, we used to like, you know, meet and have a good meal and open presents and stuff. And I mean, it's still special to me because I still have obviously my family, my dad, my brother, you know, my other um, relatives and stuff and I see them and everything. I just saw some of my relatives for Thanksgiving, so, you know, but, you know, so if you or someone you know is dealing with, like, depression, anxiety, any kind of issues, just make sure that you let them know that you care about them, and, you know, it might not be a super cheerful time for every single person that you know, so just, you know, make sure that they don't feel alone, and, yeah, so, just wanted to put that in there for you guys, because I know that some of you guys might not like Christmas, but hopefully my channel will give you some joy this holiday season. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!